So I just got this Rimless 10 gallon aquarium all cleaned off. I have a really cool idea for it that I cannot wait to get moving here, but I should mention one thing real quick. You'll notice that my finger is all wrapped up here. I unfortunately messed it up the other day when I was doing some yard work. I just want to let you know though, because you're probably going to see it throughout the video. And I also have to build this thing pretty much with one hand. I should be able to pull it off, but as you'd imagine, that's probably easier said than done. I'll start out with the hardscape. Now what I've selected here is some black lava rocks, and I really like these because you can easily link them together and combine them to create a single cohesive looking structure. Now what I have in mind for this one is to make a cave or an arch or something like that to where I can put other elements on it and make a really cool looking aesthetic. So I've got my base structure in here, it's two arches or an M. This should work really well for what I have in mind, but I gotta lock these together. Because I don't have full mobility, I did take a few additional steps to create the base cave. Anyway, my entire idea is to create a cave full of crystals or gems. And although I'd love to use something like this citron, I just don't think it's a good option. So instead what I'll do is create pseudo clusters of gems, if you will, out of these glass chunks. As I developed this idea, something that I thought would be really cool to include are these submersible lights. I'll anchor these throughout the hardscape and place the pieces of glass in front of it in order to create sort of a glowing gem look.
Securing all of these glass pieces to the stones with silicone was quite a tedious process. Based on the results though, I'd say it was well worth the effort. I'm really loving how the pseudo gem look turned out, especially when the lights are turned on. Although I do wish there were more, there's something that I didn't mention earlier. I'm able to adjust how the lights appear, and each setting makes things look totally different. I got the tank all hooked up with hardware, substrate, water, and a little bit of foliage. I wanted to keep it simple in that regard because I didn't want anything to detract from the scape that I meticulously created. That said, it will look slightly different in just a moment, and I can't wait for you to see that. Until then though, I'm going to add the animals. What I've selected are some black neon tetras, a mono shrimp, and nerite snails. And there you have it, the Crystal Cave Aquarium. I didn't really expect it, but this is hands down probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done. It doesn't quite translate on camera, but I seriously can't stop looking at it. The ethereal and otherworldly vibe that it has going on in here is just really captivating in my opinion. I also think the black neon tetras were the perfect addition. The funny thing is though that I've had them in quarantine since February, and I didn't know what type of setup to include them in. I gotta say though, I think this was the perfect one. Also, for those of you wondering, it's totally safe for the fish to be around these glass pieces. They're actually not sharp at all, so there's really no risk of them bumping into them and getting scuffed up or anything like that. I'd say really my only complaint about this build is that I wish I would have had more lights to work with behind the gems. That said, I suppose it's something I could explore more with a different build in the future. Anyway, I want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on this project? 
I personally really like how it turned out, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Also, if you wouldn't mind hitting the video with a thumbs up to help support this type of content, if you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all I have for you in this one. I really hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new. And until next time, Surfer Squad, take care and peace.